In 1955, the Philippine Air Force catapulted into the jet age. That country elevated to a level of a superpower in the Southeast Asia region. Several jet aircraft introduced to the Philippine Air Force inventory, like the T-33 jet trainer aircraft, F-5 supersonic light fighter aircraft, and F-86 Sabres, a transonic jet fighter aircraft, which flew by the 6th Tactical Fighter Squadron and Blue Diamond's aerobatics team. In the following decades, the country is facing an economic and political crisis that affects the entire agency funding and replacing the aging fleet, which contributed to discussions on retiring the fleet. This pressure resulted in selling the whole fleet for scrap. To prepare the return of the Philippine Air Force to fast jet operations, it embarked on a project to acquire a fleet of lid and fighter trainers that can use as light combat aircraft to train the future fighter pilots, while allowing a minimum air combat capability. In the absence of proper multi-role fighters, the result was the Fighter Surface Attack Aircraft or LID and Fighter Trainer Acquisition Project. In this video, we will see how the Philippine Air Force selected the F-50 for the Fighter Surface Attack Aircraft or LID and Fighter Trainer Acquisition Project, looking at how much it costs, how many units will there be, but more importantly, we will look at what it is capable of and when we could see it in action. In 1995, the Philippine Air Force has been planning the procurement of new aircraft as part of its 1995 Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Program. Among those in the original plan are surface attack aircraft, which was described as light combat aircraft that can conduct limited fighter capabilities, including short-range air interdiction, close air support, and ground attack missions. Due to its limited capability, it is not feasible to use the surface attack aircraft for air defense missions and instead can be used to provide fast jet strike capabilities in place of multi-role fighter aircraft. Based on the 1995 Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Program, the Armed Forces originally wanted a fleet of 24 surface attack aircraft, which could double as advanced trainers if to seat version is available. Further revisions after the 1997 Asian financial crisis changed the quantity to just 12 units. Among those shortlisted back then were the BAE Hawk 100 series and 200 series from the UK, the Aero Vidocity L39 Albatross family from the Czech Republic, the Armaki MB339, and the MX International from Italy, and the Dassault Dornier Alpha Jet. But this proposal did not bear fruit, as the Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Program failed to reach its potential, and the Philippine Air Force diverted whatever funds it received for immediate needs, instead of buying surface attack aircraft. In 2012, the approval of the revised Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Program and the plan to acquire a surface attack aircraft continued with the Department of National Defense and the Philippine Air Force taking interest for a used aircraft from the Italian government. A delegation from the Department of National Defense signed an agreement with his Italian counterpart to allow seamless transfer of combat-ready equipment to the armed forces of the Philippines, including the L-11 light combat aircraft to the Philippine Air Force. But by 2013, the transfer of light combat aircraft have not moved forward. Meanwhile, the original plan of the Philippine Air Force to acquire a separate lead in fighter trainer aircraft, which will be used to build a pool of pilots that can easily transition to fighter aircraft training. Once the Philippine Air Force reaches that point of acquiring modern multi-role fighters, in which the US government offered between 12 to 20 for used F-16 fighting Falcons, which will require refurbishing and reactivation works before delivery to the Philippine Air Force. Six units were originally planned, with Korea Aerospace Industries offering the TIA-50 Golden Eagle Armed Lead and Fighter Trainer Aircraft. Alenia Armaki of Italy offering the M3 for 6 Master. And BAE offering the Hawk Trainer Aircraft. 
other aircraft were said to be considered as well, but only these three models were seriously considered. With the M3 for 6 Master and TF-50 were shortlisted. During the pre-procurement phase, the original plan to acquire the L-11 light combat aircraft was still in the negotiation when Korea Aerospace Industries also offered to sell their combat-capable F-50, which was designated Fighting Eagle, which promised to provide lead and fighter trainer capability, plus also allow better performance than the L-11, and similar to that of a light multi-role fighter, due to features that are found on other fourth-generation multi-role fighters, like early model F-16 Fighting Falcons. The Philippine Air Force and Department of National Defense thoroughly discussed the matter and decided to upgrade the acquisition by combining the surface attack aircraft and lead and fighter trainer aircraft requirements into a single aircraft using a revised specification that required the aircraft to be combat capable. This new requirement is the reason why the Alenia Armaki was eliminated due to its lack of even a basic combat capability while Korea Aerospace Industry improved its offer, from the Golden Eagle armed lid and fighter trainer, to the Fighting Eagle light combat aircraft, the deal for used aircraft with the Italians fell through afterward, together with all other Italian offers, as the Department of National Defense decided to pursue brand new material, through public bidding instead of government-to-government -government negotiations. To allow the changes, the budget was increased for the acquisition of 12 aircraft, Although this came at a price, as the Philippine Air Force and Department of National Defense decided to decline the U.S. offer of used F-16 Fighting Falcons that still require more than $750 million to refurbish and upgrade. The Department of National Defense decided to go for a negotiated procurement through government-to-government -government method of acquisition with the South Korean government and was among the priority projects of the newly approved revised Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Program Horizon 1. On the 28th of March 2014, the Department of National Defense signed a contract with Korea Aerospace Industry, and the project was considered the most expensive project under the Horizon 1, with an approved budget of 18.9 billion pesos, for 12 units of F-50 Fighting Eagle, the deliveries of 12 aircraft began in November 2015, and all 12 aircraft were delivered by the 31st of May 2017. The Aircraft General Specification The aircraft features a tandem glass cockpit for two crew members. It is designed with a wide field of view head-up display, and has a single engine that can produce a power of 17,700 pound force. The aircraft has a maximum takeoff weight of 27,300 pounds with its GEF for 04-102 engine and its full length of 43.1 feet, full width of 31 feet, full height 15.9 feet, and wing area of 255 square feet. And with a fuel tank capacity of 790 kilograms, enough to have a range of 1,850 to kilometers, with maximum cruise speed of 1,837 km per hour, or Mach 1.5. It means one and a half the speed of sound, and has a rate of climb of 36,000 feet per minute, up to 48,000 feet service ceiling. The F-50 is an airplane intended to serve as a cut-price supersonic fighter. With fourth-generation avionics, and the flight control systems incorporate digital fly-by-wire, it also adds greater fuel capacity and key avionics upgrades, including a radar warning receiver to alert the pilot if he is being targeted by hostile radar, and with a countermeasure dispenser system to protect for incoming radar and infrared homing missiles. It has a night vision imaging system to enhance the flight crew's ability to maintain visual reference to the surface at night and a data link to integrate the airplane with identification friend or foe, and weapon platforms. Most importantly, it carries an Israeli ELM pulse Doppler radar, with an effective range of 100 kilometers for detecting fighter-size aircraft. It can be used to lock onto air, ground, and sea targets.
The F-50 has an internal general dynamics 20mm 3-barrel Gatling gun and 7 external stations, one on center line, two under each wing, and an air-to-air -air missile rail on each wingtip. The F-50 can accommodate a wide range of weapons systems, air-to-air -air missiles, and air-to-surface missiles, rocket pods, bombs, munition dispensers, practice bombs or equipment, and training targets. In 2017, the F-50 had its baptism of fire in the Marawi City campaign, where it was heavily used for close air support mission roles. Along with the OV-10 Bronco turboprop attack aircraft, SF-60 light bombers, and Philippine Air Force various attack helicopters, and was dubbed as a game changer, the F-50 is also a lead-in fighter trainer aircraft, which helped to train the Philippine Air Force future fighter pilots for more advanced combat aircraft, like the multi-role fighter, which is part of the Philippine Air Force acquisition plan. Today's patron and YouTube member shoutout goes to Jesse Contreras, Brian Cabilia, BGC Online Store, J. Patrick Manga, Cassie A, E.J. Munciak, Shine Castle, R.V. Abanas, DC Vlogs, John Conrad Gabriel, Raquitug Weebao, Neil Jason Quill, Melvin Kais, X Killer 3, Luzdane Magracia, Tons Augusto, Kelsey Michaela Vargas Buscas, and many others. Thank you so much for all your support, and you all deserve nothing but gratitude.